Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to solve by row equivalent matrix method. So we have a equation. So let's take a start. I am going to show you how to solve by row equivalent matrix method. The augmented matrix is just we have to write down the coefficient what is the coefficient of x one so we have to write down one coefficient of y is equal to minus one we have to write minus one and here constant number is two so we have to write down two which is inside matrix okay after that what is the coefficient of x two so we have to write here two coefficient of y is three so we have to write here three and constant number is nine so we have to write down nine our main aim, our first aim is to convert this one, this elements in the form of 1, 0, 0, 1 and here constant number we will get. Okay. So 1, 0, 0, 1, we have to convert this in the form of identity matrix. Here already 1, so no need to do anything. Here is 2. So how to convert this 2 in the form of 0? When you multiply this by 1, when you multiply, sorry, this by 2. So what happened? 2 into 1, 2. And when you subtract here from row 2 and row 1, what will get? Here 0 will get. When you multiply this 1 by 2, when you multiply 1 means we have to multiply whole row by 2. So 2 into 1, 2. And when you multiply here 2 minus 2, we get 0. So what we are going to do? R2 tends to R2 minus uh, 2R1. So row 1, we have to multiply by 2. And we have to subtract from here so what we get here 1 minus 1 tends 2 here we have to multiply by 2 into 1 2 and here when you subtract we get 0 we have to multiply by 2 what happened minus 2 so 3 minus and what happened here 2 so it will be 5 so what we can write here we have to write here 5 similarly we have to multiply by 2 2 to the 4 and we have to subtract 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 so we have to write here 5 hope you understand this one and here reason we have to write r2 tends to r2 minus 2 r1 okay up to here after this next one what we have to do this one we have to convert in the form of 1 so when you, how to convert this one we have to divide by 5 when you divide by 5 we get 1 so let's do it 1 minus 1 2 0 when you divide by 5 0 by 5 5 when you divide by 5 5 by 5 means 1 and when you divide by 5 we get here 1 what we done here r2 tends to 1 by 5 r2 after this 1 0 one zero we have to convert this one in the form of zero so how to convert in the form of zero when you add this two r1 and r2 what will get happen minus one plus one we get here zero let's add it one plus zero one minus one one when you add we get here zero when you add this two two plus one three here zero one and here one what we done here r1 stands to r1 plus R2. So, therefore, what is the value of x? x is equal to, we can write here, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to what is here? y is equal to 1. Always we have to convert in the form of 1, 0, 0, 1 in identity form. This one is value of x and this one is value of y. Hope you understand this video. If you understand, please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel, please consider subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos. Thanks for watching till last. Keep supporting and keep sharing with your friends.